What's going on guys? Welcome back to our Beverly Hills Spring Break Vacation. This is day number three. So I figured I would showcase our apartment we're staying in right now. Um, this is easily over 100 years old. It reminds me of my unfortunately now deceased grandmother's house. Um, but yeah, Interestingly enough, this place does not have a microwave, um, no dishwasher, but that was common of, you know, older houses from the early 1900s. Um, there's also no heat in the kitchen, so if it's cold, well, you're making breakfast in the cold. Sorry to say. Um, but yeah, this place is overall not too bad. I'd probably give it a 3 out of 5 stars. Just because this place does need some work, but it is a pretty cool scenery, I must say. So you open this and then out there is a patio. Trying to get a good focus. But anyway, air conditioner unit, a couple plants. Over here we have a mirror, some lights, doorbell system, but of course the doorbell button is smashed to oblivion, so it doesn't work. The bathroom. Here's my mom's room. heat vent there and then here's my room as you can see there's another heat vent that looks to be Lady Gaga if I'm not mistaken another AC unit yeah it's kind of a mess in here right now but that's the apartment we're staying in so that is the start of today's video but Today has already been very exciting for me because I toured a few dealerships, including one that has a Bugatti Chiron Super Sport, and we are about to go to the Supercar and Hypercar Museum so we can see, you know, stuff like the Remac Nevera. There's also another Bugatti Chiron Super Sport in that museum. There is also uh, cool movie cars, like for instance the DeLorean DMC with the flux capacitor. But anyway, enough rambling on. Let's go ahead, jump in the BMW, and hit the road. So then we come down a flight of stairs and walk from here this way and then to the right. And that's where we're parked. I gotta say, the more and more I park this car, <clears throat> the better I can get in and out. The first time I did it, it was a nightmare trying to get out of this car. But here we are, got in no problem. Let's start her up. Purrs like a kitten, and we are good to go. So I will catch you at the museum. I'm not sure if I'll include that footage in this video or the car spotting video, but if I do, if I include it in this video, that'll shorten the car spotting video, so that might be a good thing to do. But anyway, let's go ahead, put this in drive, take off the parking brake, and we are good to go, baby. All right, so we are First, going to stop at the Cheesecake Factory for lunch. Might pick you guys up with a food vlog. But anyway, we parked our car in a public parking garage. And interestingly enough, the attendant had to take our key fob just for security measures. Well, at least that way, it's one less way of losing the key fob. Well, guys, lunch was delicious. But unfortunately, I failed to give you guys a food vlog. So, no food vlog in this video yet, keyword yet, we still have dinner to look forward to, and on top of that, we're going to Hollywood. So, 
I mentioned Buffalo Wild Wings in the first day vlog. We are going to the Buffalo Wild Wings in Hollywood tonight for dinner. But here we are at the Beverly Hills Chamber of Commerce. We're gonna go check it out. So now we are back in the parking garage. And as you can see, there's our car right there. We're about to leave for the museum. Well, unfortunately, I hate to break it to you guys, but I am making the executive decision to hold off on showing you guys all the hypercars until the car spotting video. So I'm not taking that out of the car spotting video, um, but I will give you a good preview of what you can expect if you visit this museum. So here we have a 1967 McLaren M6A followed by a 1969 McLaren M6 GT. So this vehicle has 527 horsepower. This one has 370. This is a 1968 McLaren M8A, 620 horsepower. And mind you, these are all track or F1 cars. So they're not street legal. 1969 McLaren M10A, 500 horsepower. 1970 McLaren M15A, 615, no, excuse me, 650 horsepower. But check this out. There are baseballs in each of the exhaust pipes for the cylinders. And even in this car, 1971 McLaren M8F, anywhere from 700 to 720 horsepower, which from more than 50 years ago is extremely, extremely impressive. There are baseballs in the exhaust pipes on this one too. But anyway, moving on. Over here we have a 1972 McLaren M20, 750 horsepower. Again, super impressive. 1972 McLaren M21, 250 horsepower. So this one wasn't really built to be as powerful, but as long as they made it fast, that's what counts. And here we have a 1973 McLaren M16C, good for 780 horsepower out of a 2.6 liter turbocharged four banger. Amazing. And then over here, we have the centerpiece, which is a 2018 McLaren MCL 33 with a 1.6 liter V6. Horsepower and number built are unavailable, so I can't tell you how much power this has, but just take into detail the greatness of the Pirelli P0 track tire and the fact that it has basically no tread as a new tire. That's because these are meant to be slicks, sticky, sticky, slick tires that basically, once they're warmed up, they stick like glue and they don't let go. So your car is guaranteed to put the power down until the tread is warm. But yeah, have a good look at the steering wheel there. I'll zoom in on it. Yeah. So just got done with a tour of the Peterson Auto Museum here in Beverly Hills, California. And I gotta say, I am very much impressed with what I saw. So if you're a car guy and you wanna see the classics to the cutting edge of some of the coolest automobiles ever built, this is the place to come. All right, guys, so picking it up, we just got done touring the Mercedes and BMW dealerships of Beverly Hills. 
But check this out. I know that's not really that special, but it's a BMW i3, and it's the same car that Larry David from Curb Your Enthusiasm drives. So, pretty interesting. So now we are heading to Hollywood. We're gonna have dinner and then we're gonna walk around. Uh, might do some car spotting there depending on what I see. But anyway, for right now, I'm just gonna start this up and then we're off. Oh yeah, now it's saying 15 minutes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally at the Buffalo Wild Wings in Hollywood, and the food vlog is back. We got mozzarella sticks, large basket of fries, very delicious, yum. So now we're just walking through Hollywood, and I apologize if this video is short for any reason, because right now, back at home, my dad is all by himself, and Kendall County is under a tornado warning right this second. So he's currently taking shelter, praying that Oswego does not get hit by the tornado, but only time will tell. We've been lucky every time. I'm sure everything will be all right, but yes, got to be prepared for when emergencies like that happen. All right, so I realize this video might be cut a little short, but there are a couple reasons for that. One, I focused most of my energy on the car spotting portion of today's video, and all car spotting videos will be uploaded sometime next week, a week after the day of these recordings. So for example, the car spotting video from today will be uploaded in a week from the day this was recorded. This will most likely be posted, I think, um, a day after April Fool's Day, which is tomorrow from the time I'm recording this. But anyway, yes, there was in fact a tornado warning in Kendall County and many other counties in Illinois today. Actually, there were two tornado warnings issued today for Kendall County. Tornado sirens went off two times, once for each tornado warning, of course. So, yeah, pretty crazy. We've never really had the tornado sirens go off more than once in one day. So, just to put that into perspective, that is how crazy it is. Um, anyway, I am going to go to downtown Beverly Hills and do some car spotting on Rodeo and other streets. So I'll catch you all in a bit, and then I'm gonna end this vlog with getting some gas. And tomorrow is our last full day, I hate to say it, and that's not an April Fool's Day joke. So now I'm gonna go ahead and exit the vehicle. Of course, I'm gonna grab onto this side of the door so I don't door ding the Lexus NX next to me. Lock her up, and we're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up in the face, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications, do what you guys do best. Peace out till next time. All right, just got gas for this beast. We're back home at our apartment. So now I'm gonna show you just how hard it is to park this in our allocated spot. So hazards on, reverse, and a Start reversing with care. Forward. So I'm trying to straighten this out. So the trick is stretch it out all the way to the left. Then when you back up, you straighten it out. So go straight back. That will save you lots of time. And when you hear that, that means stop. So 
So here I'll go back into the right a little bit. Now I'll go forth into the left. Yeah, this is going to take some time, but I will be able to do it as I have the last several times now. So now I watch that mirror and the parking sensors, of course. So both those items help guide me into reversing in, but at this point, I'm going to move forward again. Give myself a bit more room here. Okie doke. So once I'm in part way, then I pull it out again, just to straighten her out for the finishing touches. time should do it. And the goal is to try to get the right as close to that as possible without touching it. And I think we've done that. But at this point, because I'm hearing the beep, I'm going to stop and get out and look. So parking brake, neutral, car is secured. Just get out and look. 